Oh my gosh, this hurts so much. Ow. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's another tutorial. It's been a while, but here it is. You'll need two little bottles, two eye screws, some jump rings. I didn't need them, but you can if you want, and some earring hooks. Red and translucent clay. Red food coloring. Two similar sized dotting tools. Super glue. Water. And I almost forgot, but you need some clear glue. And pliers. I only used one, but I'm showing two. First, you take the translucent and roll it into a thin snake. And then you take off little pieces and roll them into, roll them into little tiny balls. I made quite a few of them. Then you take a couple of them and you lightly roll them until you have like a warped circle kind of. And I did that to all of them. So now I took the red and I rolled it into a little snake again and made slightly bigger circles. I grabbed the two dotting tools and placed the red ball in between them and squished it gently to create the shape of the blood cell. This is how they look. I did that to all of them. Some of them stuck together which is pretty cool. But now you could bake it and this is how they look bake, baked. So before adding color, I did a couple of trials to see which color and how, what was the right viscosity for it. So I, I had a dark red one, one with a little bit of food coloring and one with nothing. And I ended up going for the darkest red and for the viscosity, half and half, half water, half glue. So here I'm adding the glue and the water. So I just grabbed a pointy tool and mixed the mixture. I poured a little of the food coloring on the work surface and dipped the tip of the pointy tool and went ahead and put it in the mixture. This method works great when you want to control the color since I wanted mine dark. I just actually put one drop straight from the little food coloring into mine. But this is great if you want to control it, make it lighter or darker. It just takes longer. That's why I poured one drop straight into it. So right here you want to Dip the pointy tool in it before you start picking up, picking up the cells. It makes it easier. And yeah, you just start putting in the cells. Put in as many as you want. And here I went a little rogue and actually put some unbaked balls of translucent clay. Because I needed more of the little ones, but I didn't want to bake them and go through the process of making more. So I just went ahead and left them on bake but they actually look pretty cool you could see those more than the other ones once they're in there like right there so now I'm just gonna take the glue and the cork and put some around the cork and then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it Oh, and make sure not to do this. Nothing a little acetone, acetone can't fix. And this one got a, like had water where the cork was supposed to go, so I just got a little napkin and cleaned it off and I put in the cork. So now I'm just taking the eye screw and screwing it right in the middle. same for the 
other one. Here they are, you can see the little cells floating in there. So now we're gonna do this, put on the hook. So here's where I realized I didn't need the jump rings because they were dangly enough by themselves already. So I grabbed the hook, got the pliers, and opened it up. Opened it up. Can't speak today. Jeez, sorry guys. And I pushed down the little spring and the little bead to make room for the bottle. And that's it. And I went ahead and Close, sealed it, closed it, whatever, tightened it back up, and put the little bead and the spring back. And that's it. There it is. And here they are. They're pretty dangly. I'm happy. You can see the little cells in there, they look pretty cool. I think the viscosity was perfect. So here is where you could put the blood of your enemies all over. Or you know, just some red wood coloring. I didn't know you could achieve this deep red color from wood coloring, but I'm glad I found that out. I had way too much fun doing this. My hands were stained for like a whole week straight, but it was worth it. It was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.